We're tracking new developments tonight in a story that we first brought you yesterday at 5 p.m. The man police say terrorized Tampa, threatening random people at gunpoint for 24 hours, remains in jail tonight. A judge denied bond for 27-year-old Eric Holtgard. This morning, deputies say he threatened to kill a customer at a Buick dealership Wednesday, bonded out, and just hours later pointed a rifle at a lawn man. We're told Holtgard carried a piece of paper proclaiming himself a sovereign citizen, exempt from the law. Well, these sovereign citizens don't recognize our government and have in the past been very hostile with law enforcement. So tonight our Carson Chambers takes a look at just how dangerous these people can be. Stand at the podium and pay attention. When 27-year-old Eric Holtgard learned about our courtroom camera. The media, the press is here filming this court session. He hung his head. Started looking through his car, started finding some other guns, some other ammos. Deputies arrested Holkard twice in 24 hours for threatening two people with a firearm and discovered a cache of weapons, an assault rifle, handguns, ballistic plates, and armor-piercing ammunition in his car and at his Tampa Palms home. You know, they don't carry driver's license. They don't believe in registering their vehicles. Some of them may not pay taxes. So. Sovereign citizens like Holkar believe they're above the law. A dangerous and subversive group the FBI classifies as domestic terrorists. There are a lot of them here in, this, in the Bay Area, and every time we deal with them, you know, we're constantly having to deal with that issue that uh, they're adamant that they are, they're not subject to law. So um, it immediately from the beginning, it becomes adversarial. In May, another sovereign citizen, Bruce Hicks, was arrested at Plant City's Turkey Creek Middle School for bringing a gun on school property. In another incident in Arkansas, two sovereign citizens from Tampa Bay opened fire on two police officers, gunning them down with an AK-47 during a traffic stop, all caught on dash cam video. And Terry Nichols of the Oklahoma City bombing also called himself a sovereign citizen, which is why in Tampa Bay, law enforcement keeps track of these arrests. Yeah, we keep databases on these subversive groups. You know. Now, Holtgard is on that list. And you're excused, sir. You'll be staying in jail without bond. In Hillsborough County, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.